What's up everybody, it's Jesse from Mullen the Maker. Today we're going over my outdoor theater. It's been a blast to make. It took a lot of time, a lot of effort, but it's 100% worth it. We've already had so much fun inviting family over, or even if it was just with my three kids and my wife, we've had a ton of fun out there. So let's go over exactly what I did during this build. This isn't a step-by-step -step exact measurement kind of video. This is an idea video that you can use to hopefully build your own outdoor movie theater. It wasn't that hard um, once you get into it, but it, it is so much fun. If you do end up building your own, make sure you tag me, send it to me uh, through Instagram or through my email. Just let me know what you do. If you have any questions, shoot them down below. Or if you have any suggestions or would do anything different, shoot them down below in the comment section. Let's jump into the build. Now the first step is I built a deck. Now at first this looks weird because it's kind of in the middle of the yard, not attached to anything, it's kind of floating. Um, and I know there's a bunch of different ways to build a deck. So I'm not gonna go over really how to build a deck. You can look up a thousand different videos on here on YouTube on how to build one properly. This is one method that I used um, and it's worked with us in the past on where we live. So if you have questions on building a deck, you can go ahead and look up the other videos that have it um, here on YouTube. Now one thing I will get a comment about is that I didn't mix the cement right. This cement is specifically made to just pour in the hole and then fill in with water afterwards. It's a non-mixing cement. Quickcrete sells it. It's at Home Depot, $5 a bag. It's really cheap. Um, but I know I'm gonna get a thousand comments on it. It is made to not mix beforehand. Now for this outdoor theater, we want it to be really cozy and we want it to be a really cool area that we could um, just enjoy and kind of be in our own little world. So we wanted two pergolas. We've used this system in the past. It's called the Toja Grid system. This Toja Grid system is out of Canada. It is an awesome, simple DIY way to make a pergola. I have a link down below in the description check it out. There is a discount as well. Attach that link. So make sure that you go check that out. Now we are making a double pergola. This has two sections to it. One section will have a sectional built into the pergola. The other one will just have some furniture for now. Eventually we might actually put a hot tub up there, which I think would be a lot of fun being able to watch movies in a hot tub outside just sounds amazing now these toja grid systems they actually just completely connect into each other and it's just a four by four post which is actually three and a half by three and a half inches they slide into each other powder coated and it's also has a zinc bath uh, the metal zinc bath before it is actually powder coated so it's really protective in the weather and it will stay up for a long time. We already have a pergola system with Toja Grid and it has done great in super high winds. We just had winds here going almost 100 miles an hour and it has not budged our entire pergola so don't worry about that. We also have the shades that go up above. These are 8 by 8 shades. They were also up during the 100 mile an hour winds and they didn't rip, which surprised me. And so it's a great system. We love it.
After the pergolas were built, we decided to build the sectional. Now the sectional, this is more for concept than anything. It would be very expensive to buy all these brackets for just a sectional, so most people won't do that. But it just shows you the, the capabilities with this kind of system, and they may be coming out with a sectional uh, system in this next year, so make sure you tune in for that. So we wanted to put something that would liven up this area. Uh, and so we decided to put some artificial turf in front of the movie theater screen. That way we could lay out there with, whether it was with a uh, picnic um, blanket and actually just sit on the grass or whether we use the Tozier grid bean bags that I was able to get as well. So I prepped the ground with a layer of one inch gravel and then on top of that, some fine screen sand. And I leveled it as best I could and tamped it down after spraying it down with water. Before we could get the artificial turf to lay down on top of the underlayment, we actually put the screen up. Now this screen was really easy to put up. We dug the holes and we cemented it into the ground. Um, since it wasn't on a deck, we couldn't screw it. Plus we felt like the cement would really make sure that it's not gonna go anywhere. So we dug the hole, we put some J bolts in, we lined it up with the actual solo brackets, which is the one bracket that meets the ground. We put those J bolts in, we concreted it down. Now, if you look at our concrete, we are not professionals by any means, and it was a little wet. That being said, that's why we put the two by or one by four underneath each bracket so they wouldn't sink. Later that day, I took off the mold, and the next day it was completely dry, and I, and I started putting up the movie theater screen. I used 10 foot four by fours into each solo, and then I connected those up on top with a trio, which is a three prong, Toja grid bracket, and then I actually had it come out the front with an angled cut. It gave it nice character and it actually made it a really good looking, aesthetically pleasing um, frame. In between the legs of the movie screen, we used brackets to do five beams across that would actually hold the screen. We are just using half inch plywood painted with heavy exterior paint and screwing it directly to the slats. It made it very easy and really that's exactly how outdoor movie theaters used to do it. It was just plywood up there painted. So I thought, why not just do that? Now, if you're thinking, well, that wouldn't last because of the wind, that was up as well during the 100 mile an hour winds for four to five hours and it did not budge, which surprised the crap out of me. Now it was time to put down the artificial turf. This artificial turf I snagged for $200. I th my suggestion if you're gonna get my suggestion if you're gonna get artificial turf is to not buy it new, but actually look on Facebook Marketplace. I found a guy that installs them at high schools and he had a bunch of cutoffs that he just sells. And I was able to find almost the exact size I needed for $200. I use six inch nails to hammer in the entire turf. I, every six inches to one foot, I would put in a new nail. It has held up really well over the last couple months and it has been absolutely fantastic. Now, one thing I didn't really film was I put up a fence and I used the exact same brackets that I used for the other slats and the little railings. I used that as well. I added some lights on top. We're probably gonna add a few more lights um, to the walkway. We added some bushes out front. But other than that, that's pretty much a wrap. It was a very, very fun project. It was a blast to build. It's even more fun spending time with my family out there, whether it's watching the classics like Top Gun and The Sandlot, which The Sandlot was the first movie that we watched out there, and it was awesome. Let me know your guys' thoughts, what you would have added, maybe what you have changed. Shoot them down in the comment section below. If you haven't already subscribed, you can go check out my trailer restoration videos. I have a seven-part series 
on the trailer, 1970s camper trailer that I remodeled this year. Check that out as well and any of the other projects I have here up on YouTube. For daily content, make sure you follow Mullen the Maker on Instagram and TikTok. I appreciate all the support. Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys next time.